What's okay. something we can do right now, mm-hmm. right this moment, all right, to make more money with your plumbing business today? Let's hear it. All right, not tomorrow, not the next day, <laughs> but today. And what, what you can do right now, schedule for today. Okay. Schedule, schedule for, your today. for today. Schedule today. Schedule all jobs for today. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Not, not spreading out through the week. A, a big problem we get into is we like the comfort the plumbing business owner. The plumbing business owner of having the call spread out. Right. Feels very secure. Oh, it's so warm and cozy. <laughs> all right. But that that is not that's not where the value is. That's no. not where the money is. Mm-mm. The money is in taking care of Mrs. Jones today. In fact, that's the number one when um number one. The, the number one concern mm-hmm. of residential service plumbing customers mm-hmm. is not how much things cost and that kind of a thing. The number one concern when polled, okay is uh, whether I can get someone today, yeah. whether the plumber will take care of me today. Yeah, will they show up. Right, okay, and that's what that's what they're willing to pay for. So right. we're going to schedule, all right, schedule for today. So how can we do that? First of all, hire a CSR. Mm-hmm. Have customer a C- service rep. A customer service it's rep. a fancy way of saying somebody to answer the phone other than you. Other than you. <laughs> You're the worst person on the planet to be answer- to answering your own <laughs> plumbing phone calls. First of all, you're not there. I mean, you're, you know, you've been been there. You're underneath the sink. You're in a crawl space. You're doing (laughs) the work. So you don't answer the call. Or if you do, it sounds like you're doing something else. The attention isn't with the customer. All right. It's not making the customer feel comfortable. They can tell that that you're doing you're doing something else right not, not to mention priority. the customer that you're on right now is thinking what are you doing i'm spending time on the phone you're right. supposed to be taking care of me and I'm, there, he's going to be charging me more and he's right. on the phone with somebody else so if you want to make more money with your plumbing business today you stop answering the phone have someone else answer the phone hey next all right with, with scheduling for today you're going to book all calls mm-hmm. for today okay you're going to book all calls for today. But I'm full. My okay. schedule's full. You're going to book it for today. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, they already have 20. There's just me and I already have 25 calls on the schedule. <laughs> You're going to book all calls for today. Well, that's, that's going to be 100 calls. You're going to book <laughs> all calls Wouldn't for today. Wouldn't that be a great problem to have? Okay. You've got 100, 100 calls on the book. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's a good problem to have. All right. Mm-hmm. The money is in the call being booked today. There's no money in the calls being booked, you know, down the line. Mm. Because what's going to happen is whoever you had to put on in the afternoon, they're still calling around looking for somebody else, right, that can maybe get out earlier. And then they just happen to forget to call you back to let you know, I found somebody else, so cancel. You don't know that until you knock on their door and they're like, well, I already got that taken care of this morning. Right. That that happens day in and day Day out. out. Mm -hmm. Book every call for today. But I already have it. Book every call for today. And if you are doing that, if you are having to move calls to the next day, then that, again, that's a great problem to have. That means you need plumbers. You need plumbers. If you're consistently right. having to move people to the next day, you need more plumbers. Book every call <laughs> for today. And finally, as we've booked every call for today, all right, we're going to triage for dollars. All right? Triage. So like bowling for do- dollars. Right. But we're going to triage for dollars. Okay? We're going to take those calls. All right? And yes, we're going to pick and choose the calls we're going to do. Yep. All right. This is professional plumbing. All right. This is not, uh, you know, hobby plumbing. This is not a community or, service. Right. Okay. It is not. Yes, you do serve your community, but this is not community service. Right. Just, difference. just because Mrs. Jones called in first with, uh, I, you know, I got some kind of weird smell coming out sewer, somewhere sewer and I don't smell. know where and whatever. Rotten egg smell. There's okay. a rotten egg right. smell somewhere. And, and she's on the schedule first, mm-hmm. all right? And then a leaky water heater comes in, and you say, no, oh, well, we can't get you to today because yeah, the schedule's full. All right. uh. That is killing. <laughs> and I go back and look. A lot of times I go back and look at our clients and look at their schedule and what they're doing. That's exactly why they're losing money. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's this thing of just, well, I'm just taking the calls as they come in. Right. And that's the call. And once that every I, technician gets right, three calls. Right. That's not right. Then we're done. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're scheduling for the next day or whatever. Right. Okay. All right, that's not professional plumbing. I mean, other professional organizations does this, do the same thing. Hospitals. I mean, hospitals. That's a good one. Look at the emergency room. Mm-hmm. All right. You walk in there with a cold, and even though, you know, no one's there, and you, you know, and you walk in with a cold, and they're, they're you know, they tell you to be with you here in a moment, and someone walks in with a gunshot wound, all right. Gunshot you know, wound's going in first. Right. Communication is key. Yeah. We're not yeah. just saying, I'm not just saying, 
you know, drop these guys, <laughs> drop these guys, and, you know, <laughs> drop them like a whatever, you and know, <laughs> right. Okay. Communication. You do need to, you know, be, again, this is professional plumbing. So we do need to communicate. Another reason why we need some other, someone other Which than you, you on the CSR. phone, because yes. if you're, especially if you're still in the truck. Okay. Yep. So you, you, know. you let your CSR know, Hey, Mrs. Jones, we've got scheduled between two and four. Um, we want to keep her informed because it looks like, you know, I'm going to be longer at this job or this other call came in and we need to get to them first. Right. Give her a call and just give her an update. So have the CSR call be friendly. Obviously she's be nice and friendly. Um, but just keeping them informed is going to, um, solve a lot of, um, any issues that you may have with an, an upset customer. Right. Well, there we go. It is, it is that simple to make more money in your plumbing business. So, you know, it's, those, that's something you can do right now, right now, right now to make more money <laughs> with your plumbing business today. All right. Mm-hmm. Schedule for today. Okay. All right. Get yourself a CSR. All right. Book or all plumb calls. Line. Or plumb line. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, book all calls for today. All right. And finally, you're going to triage those calls for dollars. All right. Prioritize those calls. Prioritize those calls by the calls that make you money and get money in the bank today. Thank you.